bringing humor into stuckness is absolutely gorgeous. But her truth already plays the game. She, she's so uh, cute that she plays it all the time. It's like her protection almost. And it's so beautiful. And so sometimes words don't need to share. Who you being is the biggest message. She wanted to leave a couple of times. Ha ha. Bread, bread. And her humor brought her through and made it a success. Our humor, Pat singing in the bus, our humor brought us through everything. It's a, such a gorgeous fundamental. And to have as a human being. You always want to be around someone that takes things lightly and lets go. Never take yourself too seriously, my friends. And love. What did we get from love? If I could give you one gift today, I'd give you the ability to see the beautiful gift of love you already are. This is Nelson Mandela. How can you say that after I've done what I've done to you? You know that feeling when you first fall in love. You feel like you're walking through raindrops. Imagine if your life looked and felt like this forever. It is alive. It is your choice. It is so already. You choose. Choose a love relationship to everything in your life, starting with yourself. Beautiful love relationship with the casino. It's light, it's fun, it's powerful. Guess what you get back? Oh, the traffic in Joburg always works with me. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. But the possibility that it is, is a high possibility versus the traffic is like, oh, how's this? You remember I said to you, I'm going to a job interview. The only hire men. I don't know if I'm going to get in. I don't know how to do word. Uh, do you think they're going to know this? By the time you get up to the interview, you're sitting in front of the person screaming, please don't hire me. <laughs> and then you go back and live on hopium. What if you could do things differently? Well, you can. I'm telling you, you can. I'm telling you right now to introduce yourself to that person, that love. Even your eye, I tell you to love that too. Because that is your vehicle. Your mind. Don't make it wrong. Love it. Even its naughtiness. Even its sabotagingness. It's part of the love. The only difference is don't let it own you. You own it. It will never go away. Let it be the fridge in the back, not that fridge in your head. Mind, your mind can only hold one thought at a time. We got that. When you face challenges, stop and let your next action come from love. We have the ability as a human being to do that. Have you considered that? I share that with you. I was just pointing here, Rapali pointed to a note here. You, you see, you cannot switch love on or off. You cannot switch it on or off. It is there all that time. You remember that fool Jackson, I told you about the coach. He said, how do you handle it? He says, I go into a peaceful dwelling amongst the chaos. He sits in love and enjoys his passion of coaching, regardless of the outcome. And that's what his calmness reflected to his players with the biggest ego in the world, the biggest paychecks. They became that calmness. Michael Jordan sunk things when the seconds were over out of calmness. And so did the rest of the players. Everything slowed down.
What if you have just been gifted yourself the gift of a lifetime and all of your seeking ends right now? What if that was absolutely possible? That your seeking could end right now? Considering the possibility that you are pure, 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 pure love. And if you do love, you will play in the field of love for the rest of your life. And love is not about you either. It has no identity. It doesn't want anything. It just is. Love attracts love. Live from your heart versus your conditioned mind. How big is your love? So, the week before the swim, uh, we do costings. We want to get, there's media from all over the place. Why? Because my intention is to spread a ripple effect of love through the swim. So if media follows it, I'm getting a bigger reach of spreading love. So we have to organize in our masterpiece, media, make calls, make, a, make the masterpiece even smaller in terms of detail, watch media, who we're going to call, etc., etc. Remember, it's the more detail you have, the more you attract it. So the best thing was to get someone to fly over and film from the top. Didn't have the budget. Like 30 grand or something. So we said, screw it. <clears throat> I'm doing what I love anyway. Doesn't matter if things aren't in place. But we had the media there anyway. You see this wing here? See that wing? I'm over here somewhere. You see that wing? After the swim, two weeks later, I get an email from somebody that hasn't a clue who I am. That is flying a one-seater in Cape Town over Robben Island, loving what he's doing on a Saturday. He loves photography too. He sees me swimming. He starts taking pictures of me and filming me because he loves swimming. Two weeks later, out of the absolute blue, I get an email to the Long Distance Swimming Association. Whoever was swimming on this day, I don't know if he was registered, but I want to share something with him that I took pictures and filmed of. It was in my masterpiece. And when you come from love, incredible things happen in your life. What you're about to see was not possible without this guy. Not possible. But our love joined for the benefit of the whole. And here we are spreading love. And his awareness right then and there is making a ripple effect right now. There is no more beautiful cause to live for than love. Love has no boundaries. Hi, Brett. I happened to be passing over and saw this small dinghy and then noticed this person swimming. So I took some pics. There was also a large school of dolphins. Personally, I do road running for fun, but I think you guys who swim are crazy. Thank you, Timothy. He's an engineer in Cape Town. <coughs> what you're about to see is what I opened up in my email. You tell me if love is working with you when you come from love. <coughs> Subsequently, th this talk has brought me an abundance of opportunities to spread love and get paid to carry on doing what I love. Do you start seeing clarity perhaps in your intention and your goals and who you want to be? And possibly if you align with love, your soul will smile all the time because you are the peaceful dwelling regardless of the clouds thoughts over your head you are gorgeous already <coughs> if love is the ultimate success what a beautiful life and awakening this could be imagine finding a purpose that's so obsolete because you want to give back for the person giving you the breath the sight, the love, the relationships, the sounds, the feels, the smiles, the joys, the everything. You just want to give back. Imagine if that was your life. 
If I had a magic wand that after every retreat, you know what will be at the end of your intention? Guess. One word. Sorry? No matter what you do, whether you're a teacher, a doctor, a farmer, a professional sports player, a mother, a boyfriend, a husband, a human being. This is the magic that's going to happen, by the way, if you choose to let it love you. This stuff broke me down in tears because I realized the awe-inspiring thing that loves me. Are you kidding me? How can you do this? I'm still speechless. And every time I give love, like every possibility that even you see in India, I get it back immediately. Because who you being is what you get back. If I make wrong, if I'm judging, and, I, and, and I'm just absolutely sabotage everything, you're going to get it back in your life and you wonder why is life not working with me? Because am I working with love or against it? You are seeking everything you seek and what you are seeking for is seeking you. Whatever you are seeking is seeking you. That ultimate thing that you are seeking through by getting a promotion, by doing this and doing that, we know that that's not fulfilling us eventually. So possibly it's something else. Possibly it's no external achievement. And your duty is to find this love, discover it in consciousness, and then be an extension of it. There is no greater honor to live for as a beautiful person in this world. In my humble opinion. In my homeless state. In my ups and downs that will carry on and on. They have been so dramatic I can't tell you. Until I cracked. And when I saw this I said I am committed for the rest of my life to share this. I didn't know what it would look like. Eh? I had a blank masterpiece. I had no idea. Eh? I just knew. Attaining your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving them. Love is the ultimate achievement in life. Love is the eternal being at the core of individuality. individuality. Love is God, Mother Teresa, who's not even from India, who didn't ask for one meal, one salary, not one cent. And still today, her ripple effect of love is changing lives continuously. There's schools about it. There's teachings about it. Just the nature of what she said, sweep your own, st you know, the, you sweep your own step man, before you go out there and make everything else wrong. It's all inside you. She didn't want anything out of this. Before we watch the video, I just want to see if I'm complete here. Yeah.